Good day guys. I thought I might make a quick little video uh, about a little bit of troubleshooting I just did. So in the last one uh, you'll know that I just finished everything to make 50.4 nuclear fuel rods per minute to run 250 uh, nuclear plants. Um, they've been building up for a while, they're built up in the train stations and what I want to do here, what I've got running here is a stress test. So um, essentially I'm going to be using 50 per minute um, and I've got a little setup here. So we start with a 60 line, uh, 60 gets split three ways into 320 lines. Two of those 20 lines merge into 40 and one of those 20 lines splits into 10 each way here, 10 and 10 and merges in here. So 20 plus 20 plus 10 is 50 and 50 per minute is what we're going to be using. Uh, the reason I'm crushing 50 per minute exactly is because uh, that's what this setup here is going to be using when I finally eventually get it running and that's to stress test the system. So let's head back over to the other side where I get all that stuff done. All right, so in the last video towards the end there, I noticed one of my um, silica lines was not working properly and I had to go back and troubleshoot it. That's the first thing I did. Now, I, I basically, I just followed the line back. I fixed it now and um, not everything's running 100% at the moment, but um, I'll show you why that is in a sec. So I followed the line back and it was pretty funny what this thing ended up being. Um, and I looked at all the machines and did all the troubleshooting and whatever. I'll show you what it, it, it turned out to be. It was this line here, or one of the, one of them supposed to be connected from here to here it was actually connected like this <laughs> see that that's actually connected from this merger into this merger um, and I had to go around and I actually found that this this was the problem so that was a pretty funny one but that was actually really easy to fix so that was the silica fix now um, what I'm doing now is I've done all the stuff for nuclear, the nuclear fuel rods, and I'm working on the processing side of it. Um, and I've started by doing the aluminium setup here. And I'm crushing 50 per minute while that's all happening. And I just want to show an example of one of the troubleshooting things that I actually discovered whilst um, doing that. I noticed that my sulfur miner here was not running and I thought, what the hell's going on? Why this should be running. So I'll follow the sulfur line all the way back to this factory. And then I noticed that this had all backed up. And I thought, what's going on? I don't know, all these machines are backed up and they're all um, running, like they've all backed up. So there was nothing wrong with this factory. So I went across to the next factory to find out what's going on. Come across here and I found out that um, we're actually lacking beacons. So, I was like, what the hell is going on with the beacons? So, flew over to the beacon factory, checked on what's going on with the beacons. Check the beacons, yep. Okay, so we're not getting crystal oscillators. Radio, what's going on with the crystal oscillators then? We'll go all the way over to the crystal oscillators. Check them, the rubber's good. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to go through the um, crystal oscillator factory last time. But anyway, uh, check the crystal oscillator factory. It's running low on AI limiters. Okay, fair enough. What's going on with the AI limiters then? Go over to the AI limiter factory and I found out that it was low on the copper sheets. Now I have fixed this problem. I have fixed this problem. Um, all right, well, the copper sheets is, is what the problem was. So I went all the way back to, uh, what do we got? Yeah, so it's only just building up since I fixed it. Went all the way back over to the copper sheets and what I realized was that this copper sheet set up here in the previous video, I said that I hadn't charted it, but I actually had meant to. I was meant to double shard this setup and I hadn't had it double sharded. So I went ahead and fixed that. So there you go. That was just one example of troubleshooting. That was actually quite simple to be honest, um, but it all started from me just working over here on the aluminium and noticing that this miner was yellow and then I traced it back all the way back through the sulfur all the way back through this factory all the way back through that factory over to the beacons and then over to the crystal oscillators then over to the AI limiters and then all the way back over to the copper so um 
just saying that's why I like to run the system. Um, and it took it took hours. It took hours for it to show its face because um, I built all these factories ages ago, and they all built up. Um, so that's why I'm running the system, stress testing it as it were, um, because some of these troubleshooting faults take hours to show up. All right. So since I'm here, just the last thing I'll show uh, is it is to do with troubleshooting. So with um, this aluminium setup that I'm setting up here. It needs a hell of a lot of water. I won't go through the numbers now, but it needs a hell of a lot of water. So I've pumped all the water up um, to the factory. All right, this is only half finished. I'm still working through it. Now all the water goes in here and mixes with the bauxite. And then the aluminium uh, solution comes across to this side and the recycled water comes out here. Now when you do these setups, the last thing you ever want to happen is have this water build up because then it, it screws your system up, it jams up the system if this water builds up. So what do I do, and I've seen a lot of people take the same, um, the same uh, approach to it, is I actually just, re I don't recycle this water. I've tried that in the past and it's just, it's just you're putting another fail point in the system if you recycle the water. You can get it to work, um, but for me, I've decided that I'm just going to come see, you see they're going all underneath. I'm going underneath with this water. And I've brought in a shitload of limestone. And I'm turning, I'm using all that water in these refineries here, turning it into concrete. And I am actually crushing that concrete. All right, now these are set up, these are triple sharded. Um, and they're getting a little bit more limestone than they need. So I know that I'll always be using up all of this water. And it's a little bit more work, but it just takes one of those um, fail points out of your system. I know that um, I'm never gonna back up with water here. The other thing is I actually do need concrete for something else later on, so that works. Um, and then the other thing I do with my aluminium setups is once I've produced the aluminium scrap or the aluminium scrap if you're American, I crush it. Um, I, I put them all on these overflow splitters, so smart splitters, and I'm only just setting up the, the, the rest of the process here. But this system will now run constantly. Um, and also while I'm setting it up, I'll be able to troubleshoot any problems I have. Um, but that's how I do it. That's that's uh, gonna just make aluminium setups, in my opinion, run smoother. A little bit more work, but uh, more reliable. All right, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say for this one. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I'll come up with another video, uh, hopefully when I finish this whole process. Um, there's a lot more factories to build. So the the um, apart from this this platform here, everything here is for the nuclear fuel rods and the nuclear processing, processing the waste, is gonna be just as big. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right, catch us later.